Congress is under increasing pressure to open up the secretive process it uses to handle sexual harassment cases brought against its members and its use of taxpayer money over the past two decades to quietly resolve such disputes. The payments, typically made under promises of confidentiality that prevent accusers from going public, have become a key point of contention as both houses of Congress face growing complaints about sexual harassment or misconduct involving lawmakers. The Congressional Office of Compliance has declined to release details about arrangements it has made to settle harassment cases or to disclose specific amounts paid for such claims. House Administration Committee Chairman Greg Harper, R. Mississippi, said Monday that his panel will push for more transparency on the settlements and a more comprehensive accounting of payments made by lawmakers outside the formal system. Harper's committee has to sign off on payments made through the Office of Compliance under a formal process set up 20 years ago. We want to know what the universe is, but it's out there in bits and pieces. It's incumbent in the weeks ahead that we learn what the landscape is, Harper said. Do we have the ability to come up with these numbers and divide them into categories without breaking any confidentiality? We have to get to the bottom of that. Scrutiny of the settlement process has escalated since a secret agreement involving Rep. John Conyers Jr., D. Michigan, leaked last week to BuzzFeed. Under pressure from House leaders, Conyers on Sunday stepped aside as the ranking Democrat on the House Judiciary Committee while awaiting an investigation of his case by the House Ethics Committee. Tensions are also high on the Senate side, where Sen. Al Franken, D. Min, appeared at a news conference Monday to apologize for his conduct with four women who have accused him of unwanted touching. He has asked the Senate Ethics Committee to investigate his case. I know that I've let a lot of people down, people of Minnesota, my colleagues, my staff, my supporters, and everyone who has counted on me to be a champion for women, Franken said. To all of you, I just want to again say I am sorry. Meanwhile, legislation originally co-sponsored by Reps. Jackie Spear, D. California, Ryan Costello, R. Pa, Ann Custer, D. N. H., and Bruce Poley Queen, R. Main, now has about a dozen co-sponsors. It aims to add transparency to the reporting and settlement process and would give accusers more flexibility to settle cases without signing non-disclosure agreements. It is unclear when the legislation will be considered for a vote. A similar bill is pending in the Senate. The House this week is expected to vote on legislation requiring anti-harassment training for all lawmakers, aides, and interns at the beginning of each session of Congress. The Senate approved a similar training requirement this month. The Conyers case has raised new transparency questions because his settlement of about $27,000, listed on the payroll as payments to a temporary employee, came from his house office's operating funds and did not go through the Office of Compliance. The confidential arrangement raised the possibility that other lawmakers have privately worked out settlements without going through the formal process, although no specifics are available.